Hello everyone, welcome to Rumata Art Space. I'm Febrianti Hasana, your host for today. Before we get into the gallery, I want to explain a little bit about Rumata Art Space. Rumata Art Space is a cultural institution officially established on February 2011. Rumata is famous for its featured program, for example, Siskrin Academy and Makassar International Writer Festival, or you know as MEWF. In 2018, Rumata held a Makassar Yerkala Artist Exchange Program in collaboration with Melbourne University. It's the first time I met my dearest friend, Sienna Stubbs. Mm, this is my friend, Sienna Stubbs. She told me how Makassan people influence her culture. It's not difficult to get along with her. We found many similarities, for example, language between language in Bahasa Makassar and Yolngu Mata or you know as Yolngu language. I feel a connection between the place and the people. So today, we would like you to enjoy the virtual exhibition in Rumata Art Space in Makassar. Let's have a closer look into Makassan artist artwork in Rumata Art Space. The highlight of this virtual exhibition is about this wonderful artwork called Conversation of Smokes by Muhammad Rais. It is inspired by his visiting Bawaka with the other Makassan artists. Hello Kak Rais, how are you? Hi Fabri, I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Uh, I'm curious about your artwork. Maybe I will start with, what do you up to now? It's just that they do routine, basically. I want to find the laptops and keep myself busy during this pandemic. Hmm. And you have joined this artist exchange program in 2018. What do you think the most interesting part of this program? Uh, this program allows us to meet new people, uh, visiting new places, and experiencing new things. And uh, I always uh, fascinated by different things. And also, it's uh, invite us to recollecting our memories about uh, our ancestors being connected with people at Kala and that was an awesome uh, discovered story and yeah, it, it was fun. Mm. And what is your favorite part of process making this artwork? Uh, this artwork speaks about uh, the connection between Makassan people and Kala through the uh, specific medium, mm -hmm. uh, it's a smoke and I was uh, inspired by the smoking process mm -hmm. through the ritual uh, back there yeah. and it's always uh, have I, I always having fun through experimenting and new media mm -hmm. and the smoke is kind of difficult to uh, conquer and but it's but it's fun mm -hmm. and uh, yeah this is it yeah and last question how do you see the future of this relationship um, this relationship is about reconnecting our uh, ancestor connection. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's sort of like I, I think it's a start, a starting point of our people connected to mm -hmm. Yerkal people, and from those connection, I think we can do something else uh, in the future, and we should doing that one. And I'm looking forward to see those coming. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Karais, for yep. your sharing. You're now, welcome. let's see how this beautiful artwork is. Oh, 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 
What a wonderful performance from Muhammad Ra'is, Conversation of Smokes. Now, let's visit my dearest friend Siena in Bukumulka Art Center in Yerkala. Teddy Makasa Fabri, it was lovely to hear from you again. We're missing you very much here in Northeast Arnhem Land. Here, we have uh, an important piece of history um, that shows the relationship that we had, the Yulngo and the Makassan people. My grandfather's grandfather was Makassan, and we have this piece of history that was found by my mother's sister, my mother. This was found at Baaka, which is my homeland, which I've heard means the mouth in uh, the Makassan language. This piece of pottery was found there in 2004, but still to this day, we find little pieces here and there along the beach if we walk along and we find them. It's so special that we have this piece here, but this is only one piece of history and we are continuing that history. So, in 2016, we found we re-established that connection with the Rumata art space, and we have those pieces of pottery here where Yulmo painted on them um, to re-establish that connection. So these are the pieces of pottery that were sent to us from Rumata um, back in 2016, and as you can see, they're not plain anymore. They have been painted by Yulmo artists that we have here. This one was painted by my mother. Um, it has the leaves of the Jambang tree, the tamarind tree that you brought when we first traded back in the 1600s. Um, and this one here was painted by a very well-known artist who has sadly passed but it tells the story. Here, the Yurungo traded the Garpo, the Gara, the Dalimbo, the giant clam, the Taripa, the Tripang, with the Makassan, who traded 
the tobacco, the axes, the the pottery, uh, the swords, and the material. So um, this shows that story. And as you can see here, this design is painted by the old lady. Uh, this design shows the design of the sunset, the clouds, when uh, the sun is going down, all the colours that come through. Um, and this is the songline that is sung by all the Iritja clans, um, that when it's speaking of the departing spirit, when they leave, but they will come back again in the new cycle um, when they return like the Macassans, They will leave, but the next year, when the right winds are happening, they will return back to the Yulwa land. Um, and so this is a really beautiful piece that we have here in the art centre. Thank you so much for visiting me today. It was so lovely to have you all here. I really hope that you, I really hope that you felt uh, welcomed back here um, and it was so lovely to share this with you. Bye bye, back to you Fabri. Thank you Sina, I am William Becker at Romata Art Space to talk to Safira. Safira is going to tell us about artworks that inspired by the relationship between Makassar and Yolmu people. Hello Safira, how are you? Hi, I'm great. What about you? I'm feeling great. Thank you. Safira, time is yours. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you several artworks made by Indonesian artists. These artworks are inspired by the historical relationship between Makassan Trepangers and Yolmu people in the Arnhem Land, Northern Australia. Through her artworks, Dania Sita Dewi, as the main artist, tells the story about the friendship between Makassar and Yolmu. Meanwhile, the other two artists, Dila Pratiwi and Gina Amalia, develop fan arts based on Sita's artworks. Here you can see that the artist explored the traditional baju bodo worn by a little girl as one of a significant symbol from Makassar, also using the Makassan script named Jangang Jangang. Febri, can you read the Makassan script for me? Of course, this is Taripa Taripa. Great, correct. It's called Taripa or you can call it as Dariba in Yolmu language. The baju bodo reminds me of Baini, a story that I heard when I was in Bawaka. Baini was a Mangatara or Makassan woman who lived in Bawaka. She's a beautiful young woman who protects Yolmu people and their homeland. When arrived in Bawaka, they welcome us with smoking ceremony. They use jilka, a special tree for the cleansing. They believe where Jilta can get the spirit out and replace it with Baini spirit to protect us. That's all from us. On behalf of Rumata Art Space, I would like to say thank you very much for your participation today. See you next time. Bye! Bye.